Linda, tell me about the history of this building. Well, Warsaw Cut Glass, the building, it was built in 1911 and it started opening, it opened and it started cutting glass in 1912 in July. And uh, in 1911, there was a company, it was called the Johnson Carlson Cut Glass Factory in Chicago and they had, they had outgrown their facility. And they started looking uh, smaller towns in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio that were really close to the railroad tracks and that had a large enough population where they could train glass cutters. They came to Warsaw and it was before the Chamber of Commerce, so it was called the 1000 Club. And the Warsaw 1000 Club wined and dined these people and said, you know, we have a little piece of property south on Detroit Street and if you choose to locate here, if you will only hire Warsaw men and women to cut the glass into work, mm -hmm. um, we'll give you this little piece of property, we'll build the building for you because we have rejected street bricks and if you are in operation for 10 years or more, or for 10 years, we'll just give you the building lock, stock and barrel. So it's like Warsaw's first tax abatement. Mm. And that's why the building's here. And at that time they had about 25 glass cutters okay. and they cut all the old American brilliant ware. We got it on the National Register of Historic Landmarks. So because the building's important. And actually what's done in the back that you aren't, you've seen, right. that's what the important thing about this building is. It's still a functional glass cutting facility. And very few of these around anywhere. As, as far as we know, it's the only one. The only one in the U.S.? Mm -hmm. wow. Yes. The only original. Okay, but it's still operating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Randy, tell me what what is cut glass for somebody who doesn't know, like me? You, you take regular glass and you cut it? We take blank glass that we get from several companies around the world okay. that, that blow All the right. glass, All right. hand blown glass. Uh, this is called stone wheel cutting. Okay. As opposed to like a sandblasted or an acid etched glass, which is more of a superficial surface treatment. Okay. This, this so show, actually, us, show this, us an example of what you're okay. what are you doing here now? Well then we actually are cutting the we actually cut into the glass using the revolving stone wheel. Um, the edge of the wheel, this one has two edges on either side, and that would be the equivalent of the point of the pencil. So the edges do the line work. And then when you want thickness to the cut, you kind of lean it over into that flat area. And that uh, kind of like similar to laying a pencil over on its side to do shading like you did when you were a kid. Or maybe you still do. <laughs> You're doing this all freehand without any design penciled out or anything on the glass. So that's... After the first 10, 12,000, you really don't have to have a whole lot on there to go by. How many years you've been doing this? I've been at it for 32 years. This is beautiful. This pattern just takes one wheel. We've got about 50 standard patterns and the rest of those take a combination of different wheels. So there you can kind of that's, see what. That's, that's beautiful. Can I hold this for sure. a second? You can try it if you want. Uh, uh, really? Sure. <laughs> I, well, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Do you ever break a glass? Uh, what if you sneeze or something? <laughs> it goes flying? What? Um, how do you? How do you? I was a former it? brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you just really. Have, <laughs> you okay. just have to have very steady, very steady hands. <laughs> okay. Well, I've had a little coffee here, but oh, that's I'll, okay. I'll give it a try. Okay, I don't I'm going to draw these on here. You can just try and follow the follow the lines. <laughs> this is extremely difficult. I think oh. you're getting it. I don't really. What makes you say it's that? It's kind of like, well, I don't know. It's kind of like a, a de Kooning, you know. It's kind of abstract expression. <laughs> sure. Thank you. You're very kind. You're doing pretty well. Cause <laughs> really? My, my instructor said, well, I think you're starting to get the hang of it because you can talk and do it at the same time. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. Really, it took you a good six months to get oh, anything. It was, it's the that... most frustrating thing I've Never had to do. 
Yeah, I can see why, because you don't, I, initially just doing this, I can't tell how hard to press or how to turn it without getting it wildly out of control here. Kelsey, let's take a look at how the fine etching and, that know, I've made so far. Consistency is the important part, so you want, <laughs> okay, them, to, you want them to look the same this each is, time. Yeah, it looks like a scribbling of a four-year-old on there. That's. You've got the general shape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How did you get the idea that you could cut glass? My fine art degree from Indiana State comes uh, in silversmithing and furniture design, okay. wood, wood carving. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. So there's a, maybe a little bit from the wood carving. Kind of lighten up my touch a little bit. <laughs> really, wow. Oh, That's, you and you just did that in a matter of a few seconds. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so you're doing this all by hand, and, and uh, there's probably a, a few people in the country that do this. I mean, at, at uh, yeah. different factories, but... Probably less than 10, I would guess. Really? Wow. So you're gonna put my name on here now. So I'm gonna put my name, if I can see through this pattern okay. that's on the other side. <laughs> okay. Look at this. All right, look at this. That took him about a, about a minute and a half to do. All right, tell me about Warsaw Cut Glass and how you came to own this place and run it. Okay, it was kind of a fluke. It was just kind of a mistake. We were at a dinner at my parents' house and my dad had found out that the owner wanted to sell the cut glass factory. And he knew that Randy and I had been accepted for, to go to graduate school mm -hmm. in the art program up in Wisconsin. And if we went there, we'd move away and never come back. So he said, I think you should check out the Warsaw cut glass. And Randy came and met Mr. Dobbins, who we bought the shop from, and walked in back and fell in love with the building, the process, and Mr. Dobbins. And he had about 10 months to apprentice with him, and that's how we ended up buying Warsaw Cut Glass. Wow. And you send uh, cut glass all over the world now through websites? And we do. Like we that? have a website. We, have, we ship continentally all across the United States mm -hmm. as far as with, for weddings and anniversaries and things like that. We have customers that are in China. We have customers in New Zealand and Australia and a lot of customers in Europe. Mm -hmm. So we do send all over.